I made was not enough. The dark gods still feed on our transgressions. Corruption. Obsession. This Face these demons. Hey, Alrighty, so what's going on everybody? This is Guy Clan here. So today we're gonna take a look at the trailer of Total War Warhammer 3. And this is just the trailer you saw here, what is what I'm looking right now on YouTube. So um so for those who know, I'm starting to stream on Twitch already about the Total War content and its Warhammer content basically. Yeah, so this time they released the third trilogy the third episode of the trilogy basically i would say and this game is about the old world instead of actual new world like the eyes of vortex it is not and today i'm going to break down the trailer and what does the means and what the my foreshadow i mean that's the best one can find for the future game so let's take a look at the beginning i will not put this on this time because well um yeah it's pretty annoying So we begin with some that's like a winter chill. What does the friend just say? Okay, so we see a group of body, like a group of drop button body. This is like post Warsaw style. Okay, so we'll pause here. So we wait. When we look back, we actually I see a out. person here kneeling down, and this person might be important. Might be important for the later breakdown. So I'll just show you that right now. Time. We see the ice queen. The sacrifice here. I made was not enough. Okay. 
The dark gods but I still think... feed on our transgressions. Okay, so I just want to say, like, we have already got basically a lord already. This is Ice Queen, basically. I suppose uh, what's called that's what she called. But anyway, this is what she liked before he sh she should shoot suited up. But this is gonna gonna say gonna symbolizes our first factions we're gonna bring. This is gonna be a main faction basically because it's in the trailer. So yeah, the Ice Queen is gonna be the still feed well, on our transgressions. Okay, so we basically just see the four demon gods basically as you just see first it's Nurgle with some very disgusting face it's Nurgle recently I love it back with Sister Nash here who seems like her one eye get stabbed or something I don't know why she's wearing an eye patch that's not very strange case we see a thing which is actually the seat Actually, that's why we see them back out of the horn. So actually, to be this is an Easter egg. I don't know if it's an Easter egg, Easter egg or not. But Zinj actually appeared in Total War One as one of the Chaos Invasion um, character Waller. You had to see him. Actually, I suppose not him, but it's like somebody looks like him. This is uh, they're all of him. So yeah, there's no difference. Okay, so here is there's a problem I'm facing right now about this game is that we don't know exactly that if it's gonna be one faction for all demons for all for chaos or it's like they are separated faction but they belong to a to a complete one chaos faction. You know what I mean? It's like you have a dark elf race, but you have different character. It's like this: you have a chaos race, you have corn, you have. Nurgle, you have Zinch, you have Slender. I think that's how it works. But yeah, let's break it on. Continue, just continue that. You must anyway. face these demons. Tell me exactly what all these things. This is going on the battlefield, and here we're actually seeing potential uh, special troops for this Lord at the beginning of the game. We see troops, infantry. We see them can stop him. This might be a hero. Or another lord, or this is a lord that she knows, or I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Starting with the cavalry here, we see this is gonna be heavy cavalry, definitely cavalry. Come on, guys, he, he has a javelin on him, bruh. With the cavalry here, which is horse. I suppose that polar bear. Let me just one one back. The polar bear. I suppose they're gonna be more expensive than the force because it has higher hit points and uh, yeah, the weapon seems high and stronger. And we see corn here, guys. We see corn here, boys. This is the one we're waiting for. This is the one most of you are waiting for. The corn. So the carrot target each other. I suppose the corn blood blood warriors will win. I don't I forget what's the called. I think that's what it's called, right? Blood letter. This is one of my, uh, this is one of my favorite uh, troop choices. Okay, troops. Okay. You see, uh, basically a blood searcher. But she has the ability to do like summon some of the sword to fight him. I suppose this is good for against single units or single combatants that's the same abilities and we see a blood sister here Love it. so i suppose he is a lord choice but i don't think he is he might be a lord choice or he might be a monster choice it's, it, it can be both it can be both so this is basically the abilities she will have for the game. Or she will learn. 
Great, so there you go. This is like this like the trailer breakdown basically what's happening right here. So this is a group of troops, a dead body of troop. I think these are orcs. These are corn, right? I don't know, to be honest. And the rock music going up for the war warhammer. So here's the thing guys before I just want to say <laughs> maybe scare you off. But there has been rumors of what well the actual like what what would be the search holiday gonna be a lot of people have foreshadowing and they actually come true this ought to be the four demon gods we love it well actually seems like it it seems like it will be the end chaos forever okay so as you see this is the one i mentioned before around here this is the one who enters the place yeah this is the guy i suppose the same guy yeah i think it's some guy so here this is a quite important Important. So we actually have seen some places pass to the east. We have we have Gunpowder Road. What the heck is this road? Grand Casse. Yeah. So here, this is we see three some sort of like chess piece on the board already. This will show us where the each base is going to be. This will be the Ice Queen, and he is going to be like pass to the east around there. This is going to be the Corn Blusters or Chaos and this is going to be the new faction, I suppose it's a new faction called as known as Grand Cathay and we see him here. Yeah, so as you see, this guy, it's the boy, it's the man, this is the one, this is the chosen one guys. This is the chosen one we've been all waiting for. This is the old one that gave us direction the entire time, but this time he's not blind anymore. Unless he's not the same one, but I think it's the same one, so I don't really know. But yeah, we find the old man here who seems like pretty young, much younger than we we see it. He has no raven on his back. He has no staff. His clothes is pretty com completed. He has a very southern style of clothes, and he has good beard. Yeah, I suppose he has complete hair too. So this smile, this smile creeped me out because it might be for two reasons. First, he might just come, he has a great strategy, he was like, oh, I'm gonna laugh, I'm gonna laugh at you guys, you guys dumb. Or he's corrupted, he's a spy. Great, coming at 2021, buddy. As you see here, this is basically a complete picture of what is on the videos. I just want to show you with like something more closer, but I don't think it is because I can barely see the people. So actually we see here, we see some potential units already. Here we have this, we have cavalry, which we see in the video already. These are a lot of corn and we have corn troops not on the um, these bloodhounds, but on foot, which basically means this would be infantry choices. And we see some sort of like flying creatures which that only existed in the corn in the chaos side. And here's a interesting details I want to tell you is that you don't see any Nurgles nor Slanash nor Zinch here. Does that I think that would mean that you cannot combine other chaos units, other kinds of chaos units to your um Units. For example, if I'm corn armies, I cannot put Nurgle or nor Slanash or Zinch into my army because we're not fit fit each other. I don't know. That's just a guess. This is basically a guess because I don't know. It just seems very obvious. And we see Bloodthirster. That's we're gonna be a lord now, I suppose, because he is fighting the one. He's the one who's fighting the general of the Ice Land. I don't know Ice Kingdom. Maybe. Maybe not. But anyway, so this is a complete trailer breakdown. If you want to see more, I will link the video sec video in the comment section below. Yeah, in the description actually. So this is the basic article of um of this is the basic article of the actual faction of the total war like some explanation sort of style. Spoiler warning: If you want to see it, don't see it. I suppose please do not. Okay, so. Yeah, so first, this is Total Warhammer 3, and this is basically watch Kissleaf. So I suppose this is Kissleaf, the Ice Queen is called Kissleaf. Good name, buddy. Bloodsearcher. But here's a problem here. We don't see a name. This is not a, 
a specific blood surge. This is just a general blood surge there. Therefore, eh, that's not nothing up here. Okay, so what we see below, let's read some articles, guys. It's reading time, guys. It's reading time. Okay, so as you see here, that's why the boils of ice, kiss leaf. I don't know. Is this means? I think this is. Okay, so I suppose kiss leaf is like the last name. And the boils of ice, kiss leaf, I suppose this is generally a fraction. So that means. The Ice Kingdom, that's what I would call basically, is that this is going to be one faction, you try to unite them all and fight the chaos. This is basically happening every total war. Yeah. So, okay, so we actually follow the thing to Tita Re That's such a homogeneous name, Tita Rina. So I think that's her name now. I don't know. I don't know about name. I suppose the Ice Kiss Leaf is going to be the family name. This is going to be the general. You know about it once more as one of the game faction at lunch. Main faction told you you will be able to command the demonic armies of Corn Slash Stained Onergo thanks to the introduction of playable faction dedicated to each of the four Chaos God. Okay, so what we see here, we know that game so it's hard to work, blah blah blah, old world. If you want to really see it, just click a link and it will bring you here, old world, new warhammer, bruh. See what is this? But I will link it below. I always link it below. Anyway, let's continue. Um, so we actually see that this sign has the total war exclusive concept of case lead by Gatheron Legion for taste of what they've been working on. This is their boys. This is what they call they call the Legion. Grithon. Grithon. Python. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Look at this. This is so heavy. And I'm gonna hand off. Aha, to see a Katarin. I guess right. Not as the Ice Queen. <laughs> Magic, the proud warrior of Kisley, have a long series struggle against the force of chaos. Kisley is basically factor, I suppose. Then, wow, I've been guessing everything wrong. I suppose you read article more de with more details. Yeah, specifically read articles, guys. It's always useful. Anyway, ruled about the indomitable land hand of Tzin Reina. Okay, I don't want to read his name. Thingra Katarian. Basically, like, hmm. This is basically the Ice Queen. So, this is going to be Lord, Lord, if you want to guess. Combo messages. This is basically some reactions. Now, we see this. Obviously, you should find out it's too obvious. Well, we have this. This is called the Grand Cathay. Now, this is the largest empire in the Warhammer world. We'll finally get its time. So, I suppose there's a book for it. Maybe, maybe not. I'm going to search for it later. The Dragon Empire. As you see, it's Dragon. Basically, Dragon. The Dragon of Cathay has been mentioned in the background of old world history, and thanks to the Warhammer Studios in close partnership with Creative Assembly CA, I suppose, fans will be able to get a first real taste of the fascinating empire. Another empire? Come on, Carol Friends is bad enough. You get another empire? Are you kidding me now? This is ridiculous. Find out the old new games on Total War and pre ordered on Steam and Epic Games Store to play later in 2021. Yeah, so this each please subscribe to the community. It's awesome. Yeah, this is basically React. This is all we got actually. So yeah. Mm, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. So as you see here, basically we have confirmed so far of three factions: Chaos, Kissleaf, or Boys, Boys of Icy Kissleaf, and the Dragon Empire, which AKA as called the Grand Cathay. The three biggest factions of the entire game. So, is this a good thing? Well, I certainly like a lot of humans inside, but there's nothing else that interests me. Like, only chaos. If I'm going to play it, I'm just play the chaos side. I don't care about ice and dragon. Maybe, maybe not. But I'll read the books first. This is the Warhammer site, and I think this is what they're going to base on since we actually see a lot of things already. We have like the mighty skull crushers, we have like the blood thirsters, we also like sort of have a hunt because they're riding on it. But this is all we got for the corn on the Warhammer website, and they're going to be more to it, but this is going to be like 
confirmed, I suppose. Will be confirmed, maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure for that. But we got Demons of Chrome Blood Crushers. This is gonna be like the basic cavalry to get for the level 1 structure, I suppose. Maybe, maybe not. Again, it's just a guess. Then, like, we got some all of troops. These are Blood Warriors, Blood Reapers. We got Skull Reapers. This is gonna be some elite. I suppose this is gonna be a dual weapon unit. Demons of Chrome Blood Letters. You know they are guys, they are meat wasps basically. And we see a lot of HQ here. This is the Slaughter Priest, HQ choice. Death Grinder, HQ cho choice. Skull Grinder, HQ choices. Blood Rash, HQ, blah blah blah. This is gonna be like hero basically. A lot of variety. I hope to bring all of them in because it's gonna be so fun, so diversified. Aspring Deathbringers, we have cr Scroll Crushers, which I suppose it's gonna be like elite. Demonic Cavalries, we have Razmongers, we have Slaughter Parade, so much stuff, come on guys, this is Warhammer, you have so much stuff to add. Bloodhound Magros Fiends, bruh. So yeah, we also have the potential Lord, Gen just General Lord, we have Score Taker, we have Blood Master. Yeah, this is pretty cool, I mean, I'm pretty interested in it, we have Skull Cannons, this is going to be artillery. Yeah guys. I'm very excited to be honest because it's like I've been waiting basically for the third Total War games. It's been a long time since the previous Total War. It's like 2017 or 2016. I don't know, maybe before even. Lord of Corn on Juggernaut. So Lord of Corn, I suppose, will be another Lord choices, and on Juggernaut to be like cavalry sort of style, which you waste your your weapon string just for a horse, a cavalry basically. And HQ, a hero, a uh, lord. Yeah, but uh, I don't know what's gonna be the lord be because Warhammer, Total War, they always bring strange names and new straight, new names to the game. So yeah, I can do anything, guarantee anything, guys. We actually can see what you get on the pre-release, you pre-order this game. What do you get? Basically, you can get an additional free race pack. Not faction pack, but race pack. What race? Important guys, we better buy it before it begins. Blah blah blah. We don't know this. This is like basically knowledge of every Warhammer. Like yeah. <laughs> On the border between two worlds, two mighty kingdoms stand sentinel, the stand warrior of Cleesleaf and the vast empire of Grand Cathay, with each besieged by its own trial and now both have core cause to cross the and send their army to the realm of chaos. So, hmm, basically, two countries go together against chaos, but not together. Hmm. Yeah, so you need additional notes, TBA, QB, affirmed, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go, guys. It's $59, $60. Wow, that's a lot. Entire World War franchise. I will link also in the comment section below, in the description below. Come on, guys. Where you, where you can call your own your demons or command them. I will command my demons. So this is gonna be interesting actually to be honest. Because I never done a reaction video basically. It's my first time. Everything you have first time for everything. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope it's been new fun. But this is the first release. I mean I love Total War, especially Warhammer series. And so there you go guys. This is the end of the video, so if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. Yes, I'm just gonna be right here because this is all I can think of. I cannot think too much because I'm not a big brain, I'm not a big brain. I'm just a lover of Total War, a lover of Warhammer in general, so yeah. Okay, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like button if you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more video on Something like this. I told you to say Total War Warhammer 3 breakdown, trailer breakdown, newest updates. Find me. Subscribe to my channel. You know what to do, guys. I don't even need to tell you. And uh, yeah, besides that, if you have some new video, some new content, some new games, please comment in the section below and uh, I'll try my best to fulfill your wishes. Besides that, I'll see you guys later. Stay healthy and also stay positive. And I'll stream this game definitely on YouTube and on Twitch. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.